Welcome to Specific Lab. This is the 27th edition of 10 Life Hacks with PVC. Let's begin. Now here is an awesome PVC stool. This is heavy duty using some one inch PVC and fittings. Now on the top here I just have a piece of wood. Now to create this, at the top I use some corner connectors, four of them total, to create a square that I have just screwed into your, the wood that's at the top. Now running down for the legs, this is adjustable here. You can adjust these at whatever height you wish and that will allow it easier for you to sit on. Now I got these I believe at 12 inches here and 12 inches at the bottom, but you choose whatever you want. Now to connect these and give it extra added strength, I have some T's down here on the legs. Now if you don't like the look of these T's, you can always get some of these four-way connectors. These are a good bit more expensive, but it can give it more of a square look. Now to do this, you want to make sure that the spacers here between the T's are a little bit wider than the space up here. That will give it a little more width at the bottom, a little more stability. Now, you also want to have a little bit of a gap here if you're using the T's so that it can create that little offset so your feet can be adjusted whatever height you want. I have some end caps at the bottom down there. You can always put some rubber boots on that if you don't want it to slide around. But that is just a great way that you can make a simple stool, whether it's for your shop or your home. Next up is a simple little three-tier shelf. Now, I'm using all three-quarter inch PVC and fittings. It's a very simple build. I just have eight pipes going up. You can adjust this to whatever height you want. I have these at 12 inches and these crossbars going at eight. You just need to make sure you alternate the crossbars going up as you see there. And then you just have a piece of wood. I just have the corners cut out so they fit snug right around the T's here. And just place them right in there. And there's a very simple little three-tier shelf. Light duty. You don't want to put anything super heavy on this, but if you just have a little display, maybe in your shop or maybe in your garage, or just in your house, maybe this would be great for a little kid's room if they have just some light duty stuff to put on it. There's a simple way to make a three-tier shelf. Next up is this awesome little holder for a dog bowl. Now it's very simple. It consists of four corner pieces, four end caps, and then you need eight pieces of PVC. Now the ones on the side here, you just have to adjust to whatever height you want so that your dog can reach it. For the ones here on the top, you need to do some measurements to make sure it fits so that the bowl will fit nice and tight right on the top. That way it doesn't slide through by accident when your dog is moving it around. Well, that is a great way to have just an accessory for your dog. Now if you have a table saw, it's a good idea to have some tools that'll keep your hands away from the spinning blade so you don't lose a finger. Now to do that, I actually made some simple PVC handles that go on some push blocks. Now these are real simple. All right here I'm just using a T, an elbow, and a 45 degree. Here I'm using two T's and two elbows, and you can use this in any configuration that you want. I actually built this in a previous video. I can show you how I did that, and I'll put the link to that in the description below. But overall, these make a great little handle. I've used these over and over again to help push the wood over this table saw so I don't get hurt. So that's a great way to use PVC as a handle. Now here's a great way for a young child to play T-ball, especially if you have a wiffle ball or in a plastic bat. Now this works great because I have just a simple three T's down here at the bottom that stretch out a couple legs and one that comes up high and you can adjust and cut this length to what you wish. At the top here I just have a coupling and it lets the ball sit on top. Now if you happen to move up to a wooden bat or possibly even a metal bat, I suggest instead of having the coupling here, just get a piece of black hose and cut it to size and the ball can sit on top of that. It gives it a little more flexibility and less likely for you to break it. Now that's a great way for you to have a son or daughter go out there and play a little t-ball. Now my wife was going to an event here recently and I helped her put together the simple little lemonade stand. Let me show you how I did it. Now to make this is actually pretty simple. On the sides we wanted to create a square or rectangle type shape and we did two of those and then we connected it in the back right here at the bottom and at the top here and that gives it some strength but it also leaves it open in the front here so that you can have easy access and you don't knock it around in use. We also connected it here on the front with a piece and to do all this I used a total of four corner connectors. I used uh, four elbows and two T's which go back here. 
Now, to create the top, it was just a simple piece of fabric that my wife cut out to shape. And we just had some Velcro sticky pieces on it so that it will stay in place. Now, it's very simple, very easy, and I hope you get to make one one day for your little event. Now, if you have a little workshop at your house, I bet there's a good chance that you have a bunch of dust everywhere. Now, it's not good to breathe that dust, it's not good to have it in all these different places, and it should just get into everything. So it's a good idea to create some kind of a dust collection system. Now, I've done that here in my shop using some two inch PVC pipe and fittings that I've just connected overhead and using some additional hosing to connect it to my vacuum. Now, this works great. It's up and out of the way on my ceiling. It collects all the dust from all my tools, my wood, all the, just the particles, and I can circulate that into my vacuum. I don't have to worry about getting everywhere. Now, I actually made an entire video on building this setup, so if you're interested in how I put this together so that you can build one too, I actually have a link I'll put in the description. It'll take you to one of my other videos so that you can see how to do just that. If you've ever tried to move a mattress, it can be quite a pain. Even with two people, you still kind of have to drag it across the floor. That is, unless you create a mattress sling. Now, a piece of PVC on each end, this is one inch, and I've just cut about the size of your hand. You can adjust it to whatever you want. Have some strong rope, and now we're gonna put it underneath this and see how easy it is to lift it. All right, now that the rope is underneath the mattress, we're gonna try and move this. Now that was much easier. Here recently I built a zip line at my house and it is an awesome fun project to build and an awesome fun project just to have. To make this work I actually used a PVC handle. Now if you look here I just drilled some holes at the ends and then I ran some cord through it and attached it to the zip line and pulley and all that setup so that it could work. PVC of course is not the strongest, so if you're gonna do this, make sure that you hold it at the ends, near where the cord is. That gives you the most strength and also just the, the most reliability with your pipe and the handle. Now if you're interested in how I made this zip line, I actually made a full video on this. I'll put that in the description also, so make sure you check that out. Now if you have animals at your home or a young child, it is always a good idea to have some type of a fencing set up. Well, here's a great way to do that using some PVC pipe. This is all three quarter inch fittings and pipe. And along, if you notice here, I have actually 12 pipes running up and down. Now, of course, you're gonna have to adjust this to whatever doorway or whatever area you're using. So just keep that in mind. Along the top here, I'm just using T connectors. And in between each T connector, I'm using a little one and a half inch piece of pipe. And that allows all these to sit nice and flush and look as pretty as possible. On the ends here, I'm using a 90 degree, and that'll just allow us to have a nice smooth finish on the end. Now, you can of course adjust this to whatever width you need, but in any case, it's gonna have a little weight behind it. So, I suggest using some of these. These are just some pipe clamps, and I'd suggest probably using maybe three or more. It doesn't have to be these exact ones, but something that's a little bit heavy duty that you can adhere and screw into the frame so that it gives this a little more strength. Now. This will allow you to get in easily and out easily, and it'll allow you to lock it on the end so that it keeps, whether it's your child or whether it's your animals, stationary and where they need to stay. Now, if you enjoyed these ideas, I'm gonna put a link to our playlist right over here. It has all the other life hack videos in it, so you make sure you check those out. Also, in the description below, I'm gonna put a lot of other links to other ideas we've done with PVC, along with our Amazon page that has some tools and parts that you could possibly get ideas from and get help with. So make sure you check those out. And as always, make sure you click the like button and tell us what you think about in the comments because I'd love to hear what you're going to say about these ideas. Have fun building.